I mean, I've always had like, I've I've had I've been okay with like keeping like a job for a year, two years, mm -hmm. stuff like that, but never. I, ne I honestly, in all the jobs I've ever had, I've never even looked at any of them as like, I'm gonna be here for 20 yeah. years. I've ne like, I, I flip out at my mother who worked at Kaiser 35 <laughs> years. Yeah. What? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've, I've never, I don't even, not even to this moment have I had a job where I'm like, I'm gonna be here probably for the next 30. Yeah, I could never. Like never I can't even that. imagine. Yeah. I can't even. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Everybody you know? talk about retirement, their four hundred one k. I'm not gonna be there long enough to build that four hundred one k. You know what you I'm know saying? What I mean? Like, yeah, just it's. I, but and I also, but I also do believe that the business model and also the the work model and uh -huh. just the lifestyle model is also changing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, where I th I believe we have more avenues to create yeah. more monetary gain, whereas you know our parents like. You, you know they did it. they yeah. did they did it the right way like yeah. you know what i mean like get that job get and, and i mean get that education to get that job that pays x amount of money yeah so you know no you know understand but i think i think we're just in, in a different mind state we've seen uh -huh. people in our generation come up yeah you know what i mean we've talked about like watching like a jay-z who like you know what i mean from reasonable doubt to like beyonce's husband uh -huh. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, yeah. like oh snap forbes like, list forbes list yeah. you know what i mean like we've seen these things so it's kind of like you know, I, I I don't know, man. I can't. Um, you I can't. You can't. You can't knock that thought, though. Is it? Is these just hoop dreams that I have? You know what I mean? Oh, that, of course. That yeah, man. That's a that's a tough part because everyone's already downing you. Yeah. And as soon as you start downing yourself, taking oh, that shit, energy, it's over. Taking that energy. Yeah. They're trying to take that energy from yeah. us, man. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's you know, there. Uh, you know, and again, who knows until we're at that that you know. Yeah at that point where we say like, oh, we know for sure, We're, <laughs> I'm just not there. But what I what I am realizing is I, I see more success the more diligent I am in my work. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have, you know, in the last three years pursued a passion uh -huh. and have made substantial money from it, uh -huh. um, just as much as I made when I hated my job. Exactly, you oh know? my God, yeah. But, exa but yeah. like I tell you, I mean, you know, there was a period of time I was working seven days a week for several months mm -hmm. in a row and was able to do it. If I would have did that at my last job, I would have ended no. up in the hospital <laughs> without a doubt in my yeah. mind. I would have been sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I say all that just to say, like, I don't know if I'm a, if I'm going to end up at the place I want to be at. Uh -huh. But I know success for me is so far is a journey of things that have been successful. And the yeah. more that I, you know, I, I listen to and try to stay in tune with myself uh -huh. and the things that I think I want, I'm, I see more result in that than when I try to listen to other people. Because at the end of the day, again, we have to define our own success. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm going to be in charge of my fate in that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, as long as I know what's going to make me happy, I think I think we can get there. You know what I mean? That's the yeah. way I'm always looking at it. Like, I think we can get there. I see that vision. And it also keeps me on a path. Like, it, mm -hmm. it helps me with my choices navigate what isn't like a straight ladder up a straight company. Yeah. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Because I'm, you know, I know what I'm trying to see out of these things, for example. Yeah, I took a, I took a photo earlier at the, the park. Yeah. And it was just of the sand. And it rained a little bit earlier, right? So it's a little damp, so there's a lot of footprints. Yeah. I just took that shot. Yeah. And it reminded me of that that thing you may had, you know, mentioned previously is that, you know, there's this path that everyone travels and right. it's just full Littered of footprints. Littered with footprints, yeah. Yeah. We then, know where yeah. know where it goes. Yeah. Yeah, so to it's speak. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, but that whole, you know, working seven days, no weekends, and you were cool with it because it was aligned with your passion. So that passion allowed you to push through it. Yeah. I get it because it's like there's these glimpse of where Grub Life, we have these festivals that we got to prepare for or um, events that we're going to do. And it requires a lot of prep time as soon as we, once again, we clock out of work. Yeah. And we go and we go back to work. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's those days. But where, it's for you guys, exactly. though. Exactly. It's for you guys. Yeah. yeah that, that's that's I mean, yeah. I think anybody that's listening to us, like, there's going to be two like two or three types of people. Right. Uh -huh. Then be the person that's going to be thinking about what we're saying. And they're going to be like. I wonder what that's like. Uh huh. There's gonna be the, that person that's probably listening and be like, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh huh. Or there's gonna be that person that's like, no, nah, I feel it. Uh -huh. Like, and I feel like that person that feels it is somebody that's tr is either trying or doing. Uh huh. You know, in the spirit of like, like you said, that fulfillment. Yeah. And that entrepreneurship and that passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, would understand like what it's like to be like, okay, I just finished. You know, 
doing what I need to do to pay my bills. And whether this pays the bills or not today, uh-huh. I'm going to put in that work because it makes me feel this way. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's ours. We own it. We're doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's something in that. Like there's yeah. just something in doing something and creating something. And you sit back and look at it like, dang, we just did that. Yeah. Dude, there's nothing. Yeah, there's there's yeah. nothing like that, man. Like, like we just did a, a, an event. Um, I told you we're doing that PT cartel thing. Yeah. So we did. We had a. We had to put it together. Like you know, finding a finding a, a venue. You know, reach out via mail. We did like a pre sale thing. Like you know, whatever. Ended up doing it, and 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 it it was one of those things that I hadn't done in a while. Like a like uh-huh. an event like that. Uh-huh. And it just reminded me, like when you're done, you're just like, damn. Like we put. So and people are telling you, like, yes. yeah. People are telling you, like, yo, like yo, that was good. I can't wait to the next one. Like you're just yeah. like cool like you know what i mean like we did that yeah you know what i mean we put and and i've had this theory that i'm rambling now but i we have this theory that there's two types of people really there or 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 your a better way to look at it is you're one of two people at any given moment and that is you're either the person giving an experience Uh or you're the person getting it you know what i'm saying and so at any given moment right so if i go to a concert for example Uh i'm usually receiving that experience yeah. at that moment. But when I throw that event or I train that client or You're giving the, I'm yeah. giving that experience, you know what I'm saying? And I love to be the person who helps give that experience yeah. to somebody, you know? There's that quote I always go by and it's it's been because of the way I live my life. Like I've never watched sports, but I always was down to participate in sports. Yeah. Even when I was doing boxing, you know, got into fighting. It's like, I didn't know fighter's name. I didn't know all, any of those things. Yeah, yeah. But I enjoyed the activity. Right, right. You you know? you, you enjoyed yeah, yeah. being and doing at yeah. that moment. Absolutely. And it's, it's that quote, you know, like, it, you know, I'm, I'm not a spectator. Right. You know? Absolutely. And in, in those two options that you mentioned, like, you know, you're either receiving experience or providing one. Yeah, yeah. I 100% want to be the one providing that yeah, experience. In, in any fashion, yeah. right? Whether like, yeah. like, even like I, you know, for example, like you, I mean, you came to the fight camps that we did yeah, at, a, yeah, at, yeah. At, the, at the gym, but I mean, even in that moment, I respect and I know exactly what you're saying. Like uh-huh. in that moment, even you were providing experience, uh-huh. being that body across from somebody. Like, yeah. you, I mean, you sparred that day. Like, you know, yeah. we were we were there. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, doing these things. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you weren't on the sideline. Like, mm, no, wondering what they yeah. were doing over there. Yeah, you were in the action. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, and I get that. Like, that's that's just the way. Like, I want to be a part of that action in some form or yeah. fashion. You know what I'm saying. Exactly. I want want somebody to. And it doesn't. It doesn't even have to be. I don't care if they know my name when they leave necessarily. But if they remember the moment, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like, that's cool to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I see. I, I teach people all the day, and they're coming in. They're like, dude, I, I live in New York. I'm just coming here for yeah, to take your class. Like. It's cool class, you know. They may, you know what I mean, like whatever. Mm-hmm. They might not remember my name, but they'll remember that class. Yeah. At least I hope so. Yeah. You know what I mean, but yeah. So yeah, it's, that's. I mean, that's that's the goal for me, man. Just being, like I said, part of that, giving some experience. I told myself, you know, a couple of years ago, I was like, my, at the end of the day, my goal is to be a motivator. Uh huh. Like, and I think that's like, that's just been part of my calling. Yeah. You know what I mean to help motivate and inspire. Yeah. You know what I mean, and I want to take that into anything, whether it's our podcast, whether. You know what I mean? It's my coaching life. That is the goal, like to be a motivator, to be inspired. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hundred percent agree. Yeah, bro. I think that's why I always fell into these um these leadership roles. That's why I've always had this passion to kind of like give back to the youth. Yeah. I always want, you know, I guess everybody wants to make a difference. So it's like it might not be unique, but uh, you would you would th- I you know? I honestly don't think that everybody does. Really? <laughs> I don't think so. I I mean I think there are a lot of people who do. Uh huh. But I also think there are a lot of people who live in their own world. And yeah, you know what I mean? True. I mean, I mean, realistically, like, you know, it's just like that old saying, like, you can't please everybody. And the reason you can't please everybody uh-huh. is because everybody's not like us. Yeah. And that, that's not to say I'm better or worse. Yeah. Everybody's just, there's just different people in this world. Yeah. And uh, I believe life is a spectrum from, you know, from the nicest to the uh-huh. meanest to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and and. Some people don't want to get so, some people don't want to change the world, at least not for the positive. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I could dig that. Um, some people aren't, you know, and I and I and I I'll, I'll even say that I at one point probably in my life was like that. Uh-huh. Like I was just so focused on you, my immediate yeah. that I you know, I wasn't worried about like impacting somebody else's uh-huh. life through whatever. You know what I mean? I think um, I think that takes a, a humbling process in some form or fashion to want to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And an, and an empathy factor from yeah. some, some, somebody to say like, I understand 
even if I don't know exactly what you're going through, like uh-huh. that you're going through something and I've been through something and I want to help you go through that. Yeah. Whatever that, you know what I mean? Like there's certain elements that have to be a part of somebody's uh, genetic and like social makeup. Where does it, it come from, man? Experience, think, I think. Right. I think it's experience. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. Like one of the things that like, like even like teaching people boxing, like I remember my first fight. Uh-huh. I remember how, how intimidating that was. Uh-huh to be in my first fight like ever you uh-huh. know what i'm saying like as a youngster like the chaos mentally that that brings you into yeah that position that that that, posi- invi- that just that it's a, a moment of yeah. chaos a moment of time yeah. of chaos yeah. especially your first where your mind is trying to coordinate with your body and it's it's almost like an out of body experience <laughs> and i always bring that into like uh-huh. coaching boxing for mm-hmm. example you know when i when i explain these things to people i'm trying to get them to visualize these moments but yeah. then I also help guide some people into these moments. I've guided people into their first fight ever. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, but the only way for me to do that is through some experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, even the experience of failure, like watching people fail. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've failed so many times in my life. God damn, yeah. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm still trying to succeed, I'm bro. Still try, I'm still <laughs> failing, like, you yeah. know what I mean? But the, one of my, my biggest quotes recently, I, I, I always forget where I get all these quotes at, but like, Somebody said, uh, practice is controlled failure. It might have been Will Smith uh-huh. who said this, you know what I'm saying? But practice is controlled failure. Like we practice to control the, the amount of times that we fail until success. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, totally makes sense. Like, that's why I'm a driller. I, I always tell people, I'm a driller. Let's go through it. Let's go through it. Let's go through it. Uh-huh. Cause we want to drill. We want to, you, you have to go through that. And, and especially like right now, oh, it's, it's my, my don't be afraid to fail speeches are at an all time high with my son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yep. it's like, I'm watching him fail at all uh-huh. times. You know, I taught him how to hold his bottle recently. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He's three months. People are like, he's only three months. I'm like, he's not only three months. He's already three months. I'm a glass half full <laughs> type of person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, uh, but yeah, like just watching him like, hey, five months. all right, son, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. use your finger. I'm talking to him. He doesn't even talk. Yeah. But um, it's just like going through those experiences allows me to realize others are going through that exact same experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, that's that's where I believe it comes from. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Because I feel it too. And I just feel like everyone should be that way if everyone's not that way. But yeah, I don't, I don't, man. It's just the hard part is that that whole sharing, like what's going to happen right now is um, teacher strike, right? Right. They're teachers. They're sharing, right? They're trying to educate. They're trying oh. to motivate. And for some reason, that concept is not what people perceive to be valuable. Right. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it sucks. I'm, I know, like, I have a client who's a teacher. Uh-huh. I, you know, I have some friends that are teachers. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think the thing that pisses me off about that the most is in the climate that we live in, we will have, like, we're talking about the future of our country. Yeah. Essentially. Uh-huh. Right. With these with these teachers and these uh-huh. kids. The people who are in charge of watching our children on a day to day basis while we're at work. Uh-huh. And we're talking about some other nonsense. I don't care whether it's the wall or whatever. We're talking about some we're talking about R. Kelly. Yep. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and are these problems? Yes. Mm-hmm. But do they deserve more attention? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. You have these people who give their time, who probably spend money out of pocket to help teach our children. Yeah. And we won't, and we're not even, we're not even discussing the strike. And I, 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 I'm such a conspiracy theorist that I think that that's part of the plan. You know what I'm saying? Like ma- mask what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Because how could this not be an issue right now? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That our teachers are about to go on strike and yeah. we're literally t- discussing like, you know, I, I don't know, man. I just watch some of these things on the news. Like sometimes I'm just like, I got to walk out the door. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. But what about Bezos though? Bezos. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Oh, yeah, Is it yeah, Bezos? Yeah. Bezos? Bezos? I don't know. Bezos sounds like yeah, Bezos. Going Bezos. His I feel own like thing I'm right now, right? <laughs> yeah. How about that? Though? I don't know. How do you feel about that though? hundred. Oh, so I like well, I, he. The, the thing was he he was caught cheating, right? I don't know. That's I I'm, I, I don't even know the whole story. I just saw the headline. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta ask Petra, like, yeah. <laughs> because I don't know if you knew any more than I think than the I allegations did. was uh, so they're going obviously Jeff Bezos is um going through a divorce now with his wife. Okay. Um, married way back. Jeff yeah, she, is like, is, she looks like she came through the journey with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. So Jeff Bezos is worth about $60 billion. 
and he has it was no a hard B. Yeah, it was a hard B on yeah, that billion. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but then the allegations is I think he was cheating on her. Okay, and if that's the case, goddamn. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's it's rough. It, you know, it's it's always the the weird story because you always hear like the Hollywood story, like. Uh-huh. You know, so it's such this girl was with this actor, and now uh-huh. she's divorcing him, and you know she gets half his money. You know why I thought this one was interesting? Why is that? Because if I if I'm right, it seems like she's the woman that was with him from the get-go. from the beginning. Yeah, and that and that is something to be there is something to be said about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like because he wasn't always Amazon owner, you yeah. know, billion dollar dude. Yeah. I imagine when he was. And that that, that picture is floating around the internet where he had the little you know Amazon f- banner you yeah. know fr- you know that he got down at the Kinkos in the back, <laughs> you know what I mean? And she was probably with him during that, so uh-huh. I get it, you know what I mean? But it was just, I mean, like I said, it's a lot of billions. It's a, yeah. that's, a, that's a crazy story, man. Yeah, she's probably the richest woman after this. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna. Well, I mean, she's rich now, so it's not like it's gonna be that. It's gonna be hers. It's gonna be hers <laughs> now. Hers, she's just, yeah. She is gonna jump above like Oprah, like uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, like ASAP. Instantly, yeah. instantly. she had to put in some work in the background, but yeah. she got it there. But like you said, no overnight success. That was that was a couple decades, maybe. I don't know how long they were together. But That's true. Fun. You don't know. The, you don't know what stories they went through on that grind yeah. on the way up. Yeah, unfortunate situation. It though. is. It is, man. Yeah. It's crazy. And that brings up like, um, you know, where we're talking about success and like, man, if I was rich or once I become successful, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Or even down to like the whole, you know, celebrities cheating on celebrities and like, oh, if man, if that was my girl, yeah, dude, why would you even want to cheat? Right. Like, you don't know. You're not in that position. You know what I mean? And like same yeah. thing with success. Like I want to be this type of person or if, once I get successful, I'm going to be this way. You don't know. Well, they, o- you know they always mean? say that like you always hear people who have become famous say money doesn't change people. It just enhances who they are. Yeah. Right. Because people can do things on a larger yeah. scale. I mean, that's one of Warren Buffett's quotes too. Is it really? And yeah. I, and, and, but, but I, and I can, I can see that though. Like, yeah. you know, there's been periods of time where I've been doing better financially than others. Right. And uh-huh. I don't want to say I've changed. I'm, although I think you can, you can break some habits. I think you can uh-huh. change some habits, but it, whatever you're doing at that moment will be, larger yeah. you know what i'm saying so i can only imagine if you got a milli behind you two million three million twenty million a yeah. billion i mean listen i've never been a billionaire in my life <laughs> so i don't know what type so of far. like yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> so far so far i haven't been a billionaire so far um and i just don't know like the level of attraction you have at that you know what i mean like who knows what you're attracting uh-huh. at that billion dollar mark because there's obviously gold diggers and all types yeah. of parasites and um maybe even some good people that are trying to that are attracted mm-hmm. to that level of success i mean he's the, the that's owner, always my ponder that's always like, he's the owner yeah. of amazon yeah, you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying like who knows what yeah what temptation you're dealing with i mean i you know i just can't judge the guy i mean at the end of it all yeah. said and I, I don't know i just don't know what what he was dealing with in that that, that situation <laughs> you know what i mean real real talk your life changes man yeah i mean yeah, yeah. That's why it's important to keep that I, core. Yeah, and I just want, yeah, it's just crazy, man. You just wonder, like, at what point they, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because they've been together, obviously, so long. There had to be some point where it was just kind of like. It's going, yeah. You know what I mean? And here we are. Yeah. Yeah, we got to split the billies down the middle <laughs> instead of enjoying the billies together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder what, what that point was. But who knows? Yeah, man. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy stuff, man. What time are we at, man? Dang, um, an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I think we close it out. So, yeah, we'll get another one in. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think we've kept everybody in like the back room for like long <laughs> enough. Everybody shut it down for yeah, us. Yeah, shout out. Thank you for the support. Yeah, man. You know, you know thank you. Um, but yeah, back to the point. Just closing this out for like, sure. You know, sharing, motivating people. It's funny because when you know, I take on clients or when I take on somebody as I kind of a a trainer, mentor, whatever it may be. um, My thought is constantly on their situation, Mm -hmm. you know? So when I come up to post or I read something that relates to them or would benefit to them, I'm always sharing it with them. Absolutely. And that goes back to that, that whole drive or that whole passion. Well, first and foremost, it's like grub life, right? Mm -hmm. Our official motto, our official business, our vision, our statement is, we're community organizers that just so happen to sell food. Nice. 
You know what I mean? Right. We took a page off Zappos, who's, uh, you know, their their whole thing is we're a customer service company that just happens to sell shoes. shoes. Right. And I think what I'm taking away, which is what led us to this, is that we're just dudes that's trying to share experiences, motivate people, you know, help people. Absolutely. And, you know, we just so happen to be in the fitness industry. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's how we're going to make it's, our impact. It's, it's our vehicle, yeah. so to speak, or yeah. our, our uh um, it is our platform, yeah. so to speak. But yeah, definitely, man. And like, you know, like we've discussed, not everybody may be like that, but uh-huh. man, I do encourage everybody yeah. to sh- to be a sharer and not a taker of yeah. energy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like real talk, man. Like, I don't yeah. know, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to end it on like any like cheesy note, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, going back to some of the things we discussed, like as far as whether we know we're on the right path or not, like all I know is that the whenever I've shared good energy and the more good energy I share, the more good energy I do receive back. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a fact of life. Like, yeah, you know, anytime I've shared negative energy, it's always come back around. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm just going to leave it on that note, man. Be a share of good energy. Um, and then, you know, keep tuning into gold mines. I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Hopefully this new venture gives us our outlet to share some more. Yeah, man, we definitely want to. And if you guys have, you know, anything you want us to discuss, like feel free to like email us, contact at, goldmines.com that's right feel free to email us right yeah um yeah and then you know we'll get the youtube up soon yeah the uh, website yeah. youtube up website it'll is- probably be up by the time you hear this so we're talking like as this bit's live right? i know like <laughs> like we are like speaking directly yeah. to you but you know fake you, it till you make it you know fake it till you make it it will be live man yeah. and then we, you know we'll be doing some things man yeah so thank you guys for tuning in again that's right uh, stick around you're watching us grow hopefully we help you grow and hopefully become successful together Man, we'll end it like that. Peace. (laughs) Good night.